In this video, I'm going to explain to you how you do the reps because I think a lot of you guys got this wrong. All right? I'm going to explain it to you right now. So watch this video. It doesn't matter legs, doesn't matter whether you're doing legs, biceps, lats, whatever you want to do, shoulders, whatever it is. Listen to what I'm going to tell you before you do it. All right? This is going to explain right here, right now, how to do the reps correctly. But first, here's two TV trailers I did for Vice TV. His father was a very strict father. Used to pit Arnold against his brother. He'd be like, I'll bet your brother could kick your ass. And uh, sure enough, Arnold's brother would kick his ass. Arnold turns to the gym for refuge and begins to obsessively train. He saw he could use his body, the one thing that he had to get himself out of there. And he began going to a little makeshift gym where they were just lifting you know, whatever was heavy. and a pop culture phenomenon. My hero, your hero, everybody's hero. Hulk Hogan was the perfect specimen. Big, tall, blonde, tan, built. I fear no man. Hulk Hogan became the most recognizable face in the world. But it all comes at a huge price. I was completely broken and destroyed. He wrestled with secret addiction. He did a lot of Percocet, Oxycontin. The FBI's banging on people's door. Family tragedy. Hogan's so lucky to be alive. A scandalous sex thing. Whenever your dick is plastered on the internet, it's gonna be a bit jarring. And personal demons. Hulk sat there with a bottle of rum, a jar full of Xanax, and a gun. He was suicidal. But every time Hulk Hogan was down on the mat, he gets back up stronger than ever. Hulk wanted the title of his book to be Resurrection because coming back from the dead has been something he's done again and again in his life. In muscular development. Listen, they he's told in his it 40s. to you straight. Greg Valentino told it to you straight. Remember that dude? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Arms? Well, he had he what the inject synthol in his arms, make him like balloons. Yeah, fucked up. But he would but, tell you the real. Yeah, come on, Greg. <laughs> for you to understand what I'm talking about in this video, you gotta watch the two videos I just posted before this, part one, part two. This is part three. You won't understand if you don't watch those two videos. Okay, first. so listen to me guys. We've talked about the whole legs and how to do the legs. I've explained to you my way. I'm gonna touch on a few things here. Don't go away, it's gonna be a quicker video. It's not gonna be long like the other ones, okay? But I'm going to get a few things straight, and I want to talk about training other body parts because you guys are getting a little bit confused, and you guys are asking me questions, and they're kind of getting gelled, all right? So let, let's get this straight. First of all, each body part's different, and you got to train it differently, okay? The reason why heavy weights work better for chest is because we don't use our chest in everything that we do. We use our arms, and we use our legs, okay? But our chest is not used in, in, in everything. So therefore, our chest has got a lot more white fiber than something like a bicep or a leg or a calf, which walks around. We use our biceps moving around and everything like that, okay? So each body part's different. And, you know, one of the other guys who commented on the last video we just did hit the nail on the head, and he was right. Arthur Jones believed that legs was its own entity. You train legs different than you train everything else, all right? So that's the way I do it, okay? I didn't get it from Arthur Jones. I just did it that way because I was taught that way when I was young, and it stuck. Now, here's the thing a lot of you are getting confused over, okay? Listen to me. When I say, a guy just asked me on the last video about lats. One of you guys asked me about, can I do the same thing for lats? Can I do, you know, 20 reps or 50 reps or whatever? You don't need to do 50 reps for the lats. The lats are different than 
the you know same thing with the biceps. It's different than the legs, but you can do twenty reps, okay? And if you do twenty, you must fail at ten. You don't pick a weight. Even when you're doing the legs, if you're going to do 50 reps, you don't say, okay, what weight can I do 50 reps with? You should, whatever you normally do, like 20 or 25 reps, let's say for the legs, for the leg press or something, right? Or squat, whatever. You got to get another 20, 25 beyond what you normally stop at. So if you normally do X weight for 20 reps, right? Now you say, well, I got to take that same weight where I stopped at 20 and now I got to do 40 with it or 50. That's what Tom Platts was trying to tell you guys, even in the video when he talks. He's saying the first 25 reps I did on my own. That was all me. Then when I got to 35 reps, God took over. Do you understand what he's saying? You just got to, you got to, you can't say... It, 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 like the guy who asked me, if, you, if you're going to do 20 reps for the lats, let's say you want to do 20 rep, reps for the lats, you got to start, you got to, you got to take a weight that you normally do for 10 reps. Okay. You would stop at 10 reps. Like, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, 10. That's where you would stop, right? And you put the weight down? No. Now you better get another 10 or 15 out of that. Now you bring it up to 20. So now that's when the set begins. That's the way to get the deeper fibers. You don't pick a light weight. Nobody's telling you to do a light weight. We're saying use a working weight, a weight that you can use and get those extra reps out of. Gabish. Now, too many of you guys are just thinking, well, that's high reps. I'm not going to. No, you're doing it, you're, you're taking the same weights. You're not changing the weights. You're not lightening up your weights. You don't lighten up your weights. You just up your reps. There's a big difference. Gapish, okay? When Tom would normally stop at 25, that's when the next 25 come in. And he says, by the time I hit 50, I don't know how I did it. I don't know where I am. What world? I'm in a different planet, different world, different stratosphere. But I did it. Okay, that's how that works. Don't go saying, I'm going to do 50 reps. Valentino said to do 50 reps or 100 reps or 80 reps, or whatever you want to do. And pick a weight that's light that you can get 50 reps out of. That's your defeat the purpose. If you're going to do that, then you better get 100 reps with that. Okay, if you can get 50, you better get 100. That's the way that works. All right? So if you're going to try to do even biceps, you do a weight that you can get maybe for 10 reps. You could barely get that 10th rep out. Now, you, gotta be, you better get another 5 to 10 reps. Those, those are the 10 reps of the growth reps. Those are the reps that count. That's the Mike Menser theory. Now, guys, I've been doing this since 1972. I've been training that way. I started at this the Nautilus Center that I told you about, Best Nautilus Center. I, I believe it was 76 or 77. 77, I think it was. I, I'm not sure. 76 or 77. I think it was 76. But uh, that's when I started there. Okay? And that's when I learned how to do this. All right? It, it was through a combination. I like reps and I like volume. But I like to go beyond beyond where you would normally stop you, okay? Where you would normally stop. I squeeze and I do full. If I'm going to do lats, I do full. I squeeze and I let it all the way out. You roll like this. You don't roll like this, okay? I won't get into that too much here because now we're getting into form and function, but I want you to understand something. I am not advocating light weights, I'm advocating taking a weight that you normally bust your ass getting t with and you almost double the amount of reps that you normally do with that same weight. Capish, It goes back to what I told you with Ronnie Coleman. You'll see him do T-bar rows with like 450 pounds and he'll squeeze out like 9, 10 and then he'll squeeze out another 4 or 5. Ah! Ah! Like that. It's those reps. But he makes the muscle do the work. Gabish, that's the way you got to do it. You got to go. You don't just pick out some fucking lightweight. That's why I want to make sure that you guys don't do that. 
Okay, because the guy that was asking me, I felt like he was trying to like just pick, well, maybe I'll just lighten everything up and do more reps. No, 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 no. Do not lighten it up. Get double the reps you're doing with the same weight you're doing now. You watch. You force yourself to do those reps. If you have to have a friend help you, okay, have a friend help you. But you must get those reps in. If you do that, then you'll notice the difference. But you don't lighten up the weight. What can I do to get to... Okay, what weight can I squat maybe to do 50 reps? Tom Platts didn't do that. Okay? He, he was dying around 25 or 30. He says it. After that, how the hell he gets to 50, he doesn't know. God took over. Okay? You don't... Do not pick a lightweight. Nobody's telling you to use a lightweight. All right? I'm just telling you, you can get away with heavier weights on the chest and do a little bit lower reps, but with something like legs, bro, you walk on your legs. Arthur Jones used to say that. That's an Arthur Jones theory. And the guy was a genius. With calves and legs, you walk on those things. They're not made of Wi-Fi, but they're made mostly of red fiber. Hey, you, you, if, if it was that was the case, you wouldn't be able to walk. All right? You would not be able to walk. A chicken can't flap it, it because he doesn't, he doesn't fly. So he only uses his chest for explosive movements. He can't flap his wings too long. If you chased a chicken, you wouldn't be able to get him at first. But then after a while, he wouldn't be able to flap anymore. He would not be able to do it. They would give out because it's white fiber. It's good for explosive power, boom, explosion. So you gotta, you gotta know your body. Everybody's different, everybody's fiber distribution is different. Some people have more white fiber, some people have more red fiber. I can't tell you what kind of fiber you have, but I can tell you this. Don't lighten the weight up, just get more reps with the weight you're using. Try it. Get more reps with the weight you're using. Almost double if you can. Try it. That's the way to do it. All right? Kabish. I'll get into more form and function, and we'll talk about other body parts. You're going to do the doubt video. Simmer down with that, okay? Right now, we're trying to get into, like, you know, I, I gave you the legs. Okay, we're going to talk more. You know, I'm trying to let you guys know because I'm trying to clear this up. I'm trying to clear it up because I think too many of you guys are saying, well, Valentino says to do reps, so I'll just do lighter weights for more reps. That's not what I'm saying. That's the last time I'm going to say that, okay? All right. I'll be doing more videos. Like and subscribe. Okay? Get that in your heads. Put down how it's going. Let me know. Put it down. I read all the comments. I read every one of them. Okay? Put it down and let me know what you think. Just try to get the same weight you're doing now and try to double the reps. I bet you can't do it. Very hard to do. It took me years. I built up to it. That's why it's very hard to train with me. You know what I mean? I'm used to that. When you're used to it, it's like nothing for me. But if you're not used to that, the first time you do it, you may feel like you're going to fucking throw up. You might. I put my partner, you know, that owned the gym with me. I put him through that and he threw up, you know? So I'm just saying. You know, throwing up's not good. We don't want to, we're, we're not trying to do that, okay? But I'm just telling you, in some cases, like with legs, it might happen. But um, try to do, even with the biceps, if you want to incorporate, you know, with the lats, with the guy who asked me about the lats, you know, and wants to get his back wider, the lats wider, okay? You got to use the same weight you do now, just double the reps. Do not lighten it up. There you go. All right? Keep an eye on the channel. I'll do more. We'll talk more. Give me your feedback. Then I can help you. All right? All right. Be good to your girl. Be good to your wife. Be good to your significant other. Pay your child support. Don't be a deadbeat dad. I fucking hate that. All right? You're a bunch of momos. Every one of you. You're fucking momos. And you know it. But I love you. I'm a momo too. All right? God bless you. It, and by the way, it doesn't matter the babanya or no babanya. It's still the best way to train. You're ma making your muscles do the work is the way to train. All right.